What's up mga kap? In today's video, I'm going to discuss about the Nova Scotia State of Emergency. From the word itself mga kap, medyo nakakatakot, nakakaba. But then, this State of Emergency is for us to protect us uh, from this COVID virus. In a way mga kap, I'm going to discuss why they, they, they declare the State of Emergency, yung province natin. And at the same time, what we should do and what we should not do uh, with a state of emergency, mga kap. So, I know, mga kap, you are you're staying at home because you want to stop this. And the best way to stop this, to slow down this virus, is staying at home. Why? Maybe you're asking why we need to stay at home. It's very, it's a simple explanation, mga kap. The virus, the COVID-19 virus, needs a host para siya mabuhay, para siya mag-spread, he needs a host. And sino yung host? Tayo yung host. The virus, they need us to spread out. Ang problema mga kap is it's an airborne and at the same time, once na kinakwitan ka nito, is mataas yung mortality rate. Mataas yung chances that pwede kang machugi. So, that's the scary part. But then, if you want to protect yourself, you want to protect your family, you want to protect your community, stay at home prevent from in uh, pre, uh, self isolate stay at home prevent from gatherings prevent from interacting with people and this is the reason why the nova scotia uh, declare the state of emergency because there's they say that some people are not observing social distance because of the state of emergency if you are not following the social distance, pwede ka pong magkaroon ng fine ng 1,000 Canadian dollars per day or every day. So, imagine mga kap, it's 40,000 pesos that you can be fined for 40,000 pesos, pesos, 1,000 Canadian dollars. So, and at the same time, um, they, they they provide uh, they they declare this state of emergency aside from they want to protect us they want to slow down the virus um, the basis for the for their decision is the increasing number of people that are diagnosed with covid as of now to march 22 2020 the number of positive or diagnosed with COVID-19 is around 28 people. Because of this, it's alarming. That's why they, they did the state of emergency. So, you are, you are not allowed to have gatherings. You are not allowed to have a five people gathering. So, if you have meeting of five people or six people, you are not allowed. The second is if you have an interaction, let's say for example, you meet someone, you, you do a handshake or you're talking together uh, close or nag-uusap kayo halos magkadikitan, you can be fined of 1,000 Canadian dollars because you need to observe a social distance. If you're a business, you need to observe this and if not, you can be fined to 7,000 Canadian dollars. Um, starting tomorrow, March 23, Monday, to all, starting on Monday, March 23, all people that are from different province of Canada coming to Nova Scotia, you are required to do a self-isolation. So if you're from Quebec, Montreal, and you're coming back uh, for whatever reason or you're visiting here in Nova Scotia, you are required to do a self-isolation. Mabuti na lang kayo mga kap is galing kami ng Montreal at Quebec noong November, uh, March 9 to 13. So, well, but then, even though wala pa tong self, uh, itong state of emergency, me and my family and my kids, we observe self-isolation because we care to our community. And then also, um, as a part, part of Part of this, um, you are also allowed, you can do your morning, rut morning routine. Let's say you do jog, you do walk every morning. You can still do 
a you can do your jogging your morning routine provided that you are observing uh, social distance you are you are observing yung less than five gatherings so maybe if you planning to do walk planning to a jog in the morning maybe do it by yourself and then of course you're allowed to go out per family um, there should be only one designated person to do your shopping because the grocery will not shut down the the gasoline station the farmers are still open so they are still open so let's say for example you're going to buy some goods groceries you can go there as long as there's only one person per family a big shout out also to Maynard of Kabayan Food Mart for continuing serving the Filipino community because if you are panicking of what uh, yung mga grocery, Filipino foods, or anything na makakain, Maynard is open. Kabayan Food Mart is open mga kap. And the easiest one, Maynard is observing this um, state of emergency because you can order now uh, with Kabayan Food Mart through phone or through the messenger. So if you want something like um, uh, pipe, pipe, uh, pipe, pipe sardines or tocino, longanisa, or a fish, just message Maynard through their messenger, Kabayan Food Mart, and uh, you can or call them. And what you go Maynard will do is he will prepare all your orders and it will be ready for pickup. So what you're going to do, drive papunta kay Maynard, pick up the goods, pwede ka magbayad through e-transport. Doing this, it is limiting the interactions and exposure. So as a big shout out for this um, initiative. Anyway, if you're asking, as a business owner, can we still operate the business? Yes, uh, you can open, you can operate your business provided, provided according to the global news, two meters or six foot distance is maintained. So that's a quote and quote from global news. And the next is for the dental. So the dental are closed. Uh, it's, um, it is advice can no longer, uh, as of March 21, it's stated also in the news that from March 21 yesterday, the dental clinics are, are closed, and, uh, but they are allowed to do an emergency. So for now, mga kap, if you have problem with your dental problem, you have an emergency, call your nearest uh, dental clinic. A big shout out also for dentistry for you. So if you have dental emergency mga kap uh, sumakit yung ngipin mo natanggal yung <laughs> ngalangala mo <laughs> natanggal yung ngipin mo but anyway dumugo sumakit you have the dental clinic are still open for emergency but for the regular one like cleaning or something pagpalipas yun na and it's not uh, priority right now so if you sumakit yung ngipin mo kailangan mo na ng dentista yes you can they can entertain you for dental emergency only. Pero kung yung mga for uh, yung mga cleaning, ano lang, uh, hindi po pwede. Uh, that's it guys. I know, uh, medyo na, na, nakakatakot, uh, nakakatakot, but then we're still lucky to be here in Canada and we're thankful that we're here and we pray that na sana matapos na to and we pray for all our families in the Philippines na sana maging okay naman po yung virus because there's a lot of my friends, my families, common friends, my community in the Philippines are greatly affected with this. So we pray sama-sama tayong pagdasal na matapos na to and there's no impossible with prayers mga kap. So yun, uh, that's for the update and watch for our video because I have lots of videos about this coronavirus that affects our community, Nova Scotia, Canada. I'll give also updates about um, um, updates about Canada immigration as well. So please subscribe to our channel and thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Maraming salat mga kap. Bye-bye.